everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I am to my soul. Tell me the size whenever the smoke clear out of my face and my picture perfect. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I am to my soul. Tell me the size whenever the Are you ready to be entertained? Let's get into another reaction of Dr. <laughs> Absolutely. So, g gather around the go mic. Absolutely, y'all. The go mic is here for a very short time. Um, so, let's talk. Can we please talk? So, now we're having a little discrepancy. Real quickly. First off, Heidi Ho wins low. So rude of me. Um, so, down in the comment section, um, in the last reaction, people were letting me know the shows um, that still exist. A lot of people do know and understand about me watching just full-on animation besides this one and other pivotal uh, stories of Doctor Who that I can't, for me, just it's just personally for me, um, doing reactions to them, it probably wouldn't be that great. I'm just being honest. I actually, that was my feeling before I actually started the animation because once, like this animation I love. Um, so there's also that because I, I'm actually being like, oh, I actually really liked this animation. The reason why I'm just like, let me know the stories that really do matter or stories that are very important for me to watch is just also, I'm trying to, I'm trying to hit those those shows at this moment or else we'll be stuck here on Doctor, the second Doctor for eternity, right? And Doctor, the first Doctor, the reason why I was like, let me get through all as many as uh, I possibly can, I really wanted to know where Doctor Who came from. I wanted to understand and be involved in all the beginning of these stories. Once again, I want to do that with every single Doctor if it's available, but I would rather the more, for th this particular one, because I know that va the vast majority of them are missing. You have to remember somebody with ADD, I'm going back and forth through animation than live. And for for uh, certain other people, it's easier to follow because going from live or actual footage to animation is probably nothing to nothing. It, it really won't matter. You'd be like, oh, I'm just watching another show. But for some people like me, it's harder for me to concentrate and it's very hard for me to explain me watching it, I will get thrown off. And that's something that is a, a learning thing for me. Um, and I also will be tuned out. I'm telling you, my ADD will go. So I do thank everybody who let me know the particular episodes that are must watch. Um, and that's why I said I'll watch them. If it is in full animation, I know one of my uh, lovely subscribers, he or she, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, no gender. Um, but they did say, um, to watch, they, they started naming a bunch of other episodes that was different from what other people were saying, right? So I just want to know, after I'm done with this particular episode, once again, thank you for everybody who's commenting down below and letting me know about the stories and what order to watch them in. But if you could comment down below the next story, the next title of the story, that way also please remember, it's not that easy to actually put out the Doctor Who classics, especially, um, I don't know if the, uh, BBC Studios is doing something different with their classics um, recently, but it's not that easy to put classics out for me, I'll say for me, I don't know how other people are, so please keep that in mind when if you want me to watch all these other episodes that aren't like full-on animation if it makes any sense so i would rather for for the missing parts just let me know which shows which episodes i need th that are mandatory like you got to watch this one um also now that we're touching base also if somebody comments just see if you could see the other person's comment because it's kind of hard for me to see like five people comment the same things and then they're kind of twisting. So if you see somebody's comments of the shows that are mandatory, just comment underneath them if you can. I know sometimes with the phones, it doesn't show it or computer or maybe your TV. I don't know how you're watching me. Either way, it doesn't matter. Hi. Um, but it would just be easier for me to see that way. Also, another thing that came to my attention was some people want me to jump back into Torchwood. I've stated it before, especially at this 
moment. I'm introducing other shows for my new season that I do. I always do this every, since I've been on YouTube. New season, new shows, shows that aren't working, aren't, uh, people aren't viewing them. I put them on pause, I get back to them eventually, or sometimes I don't. Um, <laughs> it depends if people really want me to watch it. So, people said, Torchwood, Torchwood, Torchwood. I then stated, I have a lot of new shows. Now, do you, I said, due to uh, BBC Studios, the last Torchwood reaction I dropped, I, it was about 18 minutes long. BBC Studios copyright claimed the whole thing. I don't even know how long it is now. 13 people liked it, so in my head, about 13 people were actually enjoying the video. And about 100 people watched it, and that was over a month ago. So, where it seems that more people are into the classic Doctor Who, I said, okay, you know what, I'll put a poll out, which I can't, um, because the audience is cut in different shows. You know, we have different, a thousand shows here on this platform. So if you comment down below, if you want me to either watch Torchwood only, wrap up Torchwood, and then get back to Doctor Who Classics, or stay on a Doctor Who Classics uh, uh, path that we're on, um, it would help me out, because I'm kind of getting torn here. Gotta watch this, you gotta watch this. And I remember when I was started doing uh, YouTube, I did, I tried to listen to what everybody said, um, and then it, was, it wasn't it was really beneficial for the channel. Um, and the channel suffered. It suffered because I listened to certain people or a, a small amount of people or whatever, um, and then other people were like, I don't wanna watch this, and then I, tr I was killing myself just trying to produce content that vast majority of people are not into. So if you could comment down below, would you rather see Torchwood and then get back to Doctor Who Classics after I'm done with Torchwood or all of Torchwood, or stay with Doctor Who Classics after I'm done with all my new shows because I have dates that I'm trying to hit and the movies and dates, I'm trying to push these content out and still live my life. Um, and then get back to Torchwood afterwards, let me know. But me doing two BBC Studio shows and them copywriting claiming it, and then it's just, it's just, it takes up too much time um, for the video not even to come out or people aren't into it. So once again, please comment down below what you would like to see and also comment down below if you are into more Doctor Who classics, what are the, the mandatory shows that I should see, the episodes of this particular doctor since this particular doctor's majority of his, I don't know how long, how many seasons, I'm assuming majority of his run has been lost. So if we can find it, if, the, if those are pivotal episodes, let me know. I might even watch it on my own, um, the other episodes, the other shows, um, just to get in, uh, in tune, because I do know that some of the uh, uh, companions leave, but we are missing those episodes, or those episodes are animated, either one. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of listening to me. Let's get into this reaction. I'm sorry there was so much of me asking you guys things. <laughs> I felt like I was complaining for a little bit. It was a little hard for me. Um, but anyways, let's get into this. I'm assuming this is six parts because that's what I have here. Six parts. Jesus. Let's get right into this because my battery life for this camera is going to die. So, without further ado, let's jump into Doctor and find out exactly what the doctor has got to give. I am your servant. I am your servant. Even capable of speech. Yes. But it is, it, is, it is an intelligence that we can control. Double our production overnight. So that the effect it could have on our whole economy. Yes, they could be very grateful. I shall stop you. Permission for what? To continue my work, Examiner. The Daleks must be destroyed! Oh, never. By my order, then by Earth. Come then, Tony. Uh, examiner, just a moment. I realize I can't give you any proof, but you've no idea of the danger. No. Be contacting Earth just so soon as radio communications have been restored. You're my servant, are you? I am. Immobilize yourself. Go on. I order it. Immediately. Faking. Huh. 
You were given an order. He as God cannot serve human beings if I am immobilized. I serve you. Listen. Just how limited is its intelligence? Now, there is no cause for, for concern, Governor. Follow me, Dalek. I obey. He couldn't have helped him, Polly, even if he wanted to. The Governor's already reached his verdict. Anyway, first things first, the Daleks are the important thing. Ah! I do! What did I do? You just used your brains, that's what you did. The Daleks are the most important thing. How can I be in league with the rebels? The evidence confirms it. It was I that warned of their danger. As I was wrong then, I have a chance to rectify it now. If that's going to be your attitude, that's... Quid, yes, the examiner was attacked. There can be no question of that. And the button grabbed by the examiner was missing from your suit. I was the one that sent for him. You sent for it? It's necessary. But why, Quinn? Why? Because of the rebels. The rebels. As well as I do. Unless you're trying to create trouble here. To undermine the governor's position. If you're removed, who takes your place? The deputy governor, of course. The examiner in the mercury swamp and blame it on the rebels. Then you sabotage the radio. Get him out of my sight. And so before you listen to these preposterous allegations, a few years' time, he'd have had this seat. Sometimes, governor, a few years is a long time to wait. You will assume Quinn's duty. Yeah, he's the bad guy. I thought we were after the Daleks, not this the control unit you've nicked. <laughs> the Listerson's the driving force, but I don't. The Daleks are using him. Let the Daleks go, and we'll all be exterminated. Doctor, <laughs> look, if you told us what you were up to, perhaps we could help you. Let's kidnap Listerson and hide him away for a bit. Well, it would stop him bringing the Daleks back to life, wouldn't it? It could be the answer to all our problems. My examiner, don't let them fool you about the rebels. They're strong. Try and find out where they hold their meetings. Little injustice is better than wholesale slaughter. What we want is in Lesterson's laboratory. When sodium acts on ethyl alcohol, what is the resulting derivative? H5ONA. Good job, Dalek. Just five seconds. Sulfuric acid. H2SO4. No, please, I'm... I'm I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm, I'm just interested. We got off on the wrong foot, Lesterson, but, but I'm a reasonable man. Do you want to call a truce? A I'm... truce? My dear fellow, I, I'd like to be friends. Use yourselves for a little while. All right. I can come now. I just have to slip out for a few minutes, Lesterson. Uh, yes. All right? Yes. The first law of thermodynamics. When heat is transformed to say... The quantity of heat which disappears. Sustained. No damage. He left me in control. We could take over the colony now? No. No one to take over a colony full of rebels, do I, Janley? <laughs> Stir them up to create enough trouble to get rid of Hensel. And then, then we crush. Persuade the rebels this will help them. Yes, Varma thinks he can work in a switch to turn it on and off. Doesn't believe that Resto is simply shaken up. Take you a few days off. And the body? In the mercury swamp. The examiner bothers me. I thought Quinn was the danger. <laughs> not anymore. Well? Well, he's not in the laboratory. Lesterson's by himself. Mm. Hello there. Hello. Um, you're Lesterson's assistant, aren't you? Yes. Waiting to get a message through from Earth. He's in the communications room. Doctor? <laughs> Well done, Valma. I will keep her quiet for a bit. I've no idea who she is. She was just snooping around. I sent her. The lethal power must come from here. Uh -huh. It should have quite a good range. This could win us the revolution. Uh... She said she was coming back here. She knew the way and she wouldn't have wandered off. If you were a Dalek, what would be your next move? I'm talking about Polly. She's a clever girl, but she couldn't answer this. But she is <laughs> missing. <laughs> come on. Where are we going? To report it. If we make a fool of ourselves, I don't care. We report it. This yes. doctor is funny. Yes, I managed to stop that fool of an examiner just in time. What does this machine do? You have an almost human interest and curiosity. A Dalek is back. I must know everything. Yes, yes, of course. What is this? It helps to cut down on our satellite losses. Daleks can build for computers. You provide materials and our own power unit. Be ready to dictate the blueprint when you return. The Dalek is preparing for war. <laughs> You agreed we go and see Bragan. Mm. Power. Darling, 
Well, now what are you at? Useless with incomplete data. Listen. Right? He just went past. Stop Keep coming along then. Oh, the Dalek. Turn on the machine, though. The power. Servant shouldn't question. Entry is restricted. Not for me, it isn't. And back! Don't be frightened, it, Dave. It's not armed. I'm going to see what he was doing in there. Oh, we got the other ones. When I say run, run like a rabbit. Run! Set the human being for material. We will conquer! We will conquer! Dalek must have used your power supply and reactivated the others itself. I was going to do that. Disarm them and then everything is safe again. I've already explained to you. Stop these <laughs> He has carte blanche for the Daleks from now on. But they must be destroyed. That Lesterson gets everything he wants, will you? Permanent guard on my laboratory, Gregan. Done. We've been forgetting about Polly. Greed yeah. and ambition. <laughs> Wait till they find out what their precious production figures have cost them. It shouldn't take long to find her. Oh, thanks. Examiner, some of my men have found a body in the mercury swamp. What has that to do with me? You're the examiner. Or maybe you're not. There's only one possible way that you could know that I'm not the examiner. Only two people knew of his arrival on this planet. I'm convincing that you murdered the man yourself. You stole the examiner's band, but you leave Lesterson alone. And the Daleks. He'd make a right father Christmas, wouldn't he? Oh, I'd rather fight a hundred of his sort than just one Dalek. The girl is safe. She will remain so as long as you leave the Daleks alone. And did you disarm the other two? Yes, we do not need guns. I'm very glad. Everything you need, you can have. And a power plant. Everything. What are you doing? We will get our power. We will get our power. We will get our power. But I want you to remember that I control you. Any further power you need must come from this generator, and I control it. Wait. Oh, bye. Well, let's do it like, we're out of here. Where are you going? Go await your orders. Have you completed the blueprints for the meteor storm computer? It is ready. <gasps> Marvelous. Understand the human mind. This is Valmar. Chess court, please. I can hear you clearly, all right, good. I'd try and get in connection now with the interior and then the perimeters. I did the best I could. Well, it isn't good enough. Then get someone else, Bregan. What does this intrusion mean? I'm sorry, Bregan. I tried to stop them. Just returning the various calls that you made. Uh, this guard tried to tell us you were busy. Oh, what a nice new uniform. Very smart, very smart. Well, what do you want? Some <laughs> joker has kidnapped Polly and sent us this note. Communications are restored. We can start a search. Yeah, I can just imagine what kind of job you'll make of that. They've given you the run of the colony, have they? We obey liquid for your visitors. No, they won't be staying much longer. Look, Doctor, if he's not going to help us, we'll have to search for Polly ourselves. Why don't you, Doctor? Uh -uh. Examiner. I wonder how much longer they'll be able to move around on these floors. Aye? Floors, they're not metal. Ah, there you are, Bregan. Thank heavens the communications are working again. And there is nothing to report, Governor. The examiner? I'm taking good care of him. When will you be coming back? Oh, not for a day or two at least. You can manage, can't you? What do you want? Have you finished your liquid? No, I haven't. You'd better check the agenda. I'll do it now. Static, you see. They need a constant supply of static from the floor. Madness! What is? Letting the runner around like this. One Dalek in Bregan's office, three Daleks just gone down the corridors. Where did the fourth one come from? Well, Lesterson can't have been making them. Perhaps there were more in the capsule than we thought. We must go and see Lesterson. We frightened him off. wonder what the fascination of this notice board is. Yeah, well, come on, Doctor. We must find out who's got Polly. The Daleks, they've given me another list of materials they need. Let me see. a few hours ago. They're building new things for us. Yes, well, I don't want them to do anything without consulting me. I'm beginning to believe that the examiner is right about the Daleks. If you can control them, fine. But if not, then I shall have them destroyed. Ooh. It's too dangerous. It's too late. You want him to find out about Resner? A little accident. He's dead. Uh. What are you talking about? 
it'll have to be reported. Don't worry. Elements on the Daleks were more important. More important than human life. No, no, I won't accept that. Your carelessness was the cause of Resno's death. I won't be blackmailed by you. All I want is for you to go on as you are. I don't regard that no one wants to be allowed in. Accord every access. You haven't been building Daleks, have you? Built? You've just seen four. One in the governor's office and three in the corridor. The belt and more. Are we producing themselves? These things are machines. Machines? What makes you think they're just machines? Right! I said nothing is beyond them given the right materials. You for giving them materials. Yes, sir. What's the matter? Leave him alone. He's just been overworking. That's all. Oh, he looks bad. Will you both go away? Go! Reagan's orders were that nobody was to be admitted. Yes, but I thought that the examiner... He attacked Lesterson. What? Tell Belmont to come over to the lab right away. Good. have been doing far too much. <laughs> I've sedated him. Well, what's the matter with him? Overwork, I suppose. He'd give you a chance to lay in the new power cables the Daleks have asked for. She's we're going to lay that. in the new cables you wanted. Oh, sure, this is okay, Jan. Of course. We help them, they help us. They are your servants. Don't take too oh. long, Van Belmont. I found a message in code. It's an anagram. R-O-C-K-E-T. Rocket P. Rocket Room P. It's the Rebels' way of calling a meeting. Rocket Room P. Shh. What's the time? It's time we went home. We're going to demonstrate something. New section leaders can pass on what you see. What is that thing? I see them moving about, but all we've been told is it's a machine. We can regulate the firepower and turn it off and on whenever we choose. That's the one we want. He must be the boss of this outfit. This screen is two inch thick tungsten steel. You can't control a thing like that. It'll turn on us. No, it won't. You wouldn't let any of my group go anywhere near. I'm not talking about that thing firing at the wall or bits of metal or anything. I mean people. How do you know a Dalek can tell the difference between the governor's people and our people? But I can tell right. the difference. You've fallen. I control it. Test it on me. Does that satisfy you? Well, yes, but... I am your servant. <laughs> Get back to your places with this armor, Dalek. Well, go on, take the gun away. We don't want any accidents. Now, what about the girl? We've got her safely locked up, never fear. You stay Who's there. Distract them. Find out where Polly is. Help! The cars will have heard that. Come on, we've got to get out of here. You might as well come out. We know you're there. Wow. He looks like Davros. I am the leader of the Daleks. Well, see if you can stop this one from kidding me. Fetch the guard. I. Oh, bye. Will you look in front of the governor when I explain your due role to him? The governor will hardly listen to an imposter. The guards are now going to produce the body of the real examiner from the Mercury Swamp. That is a far worse crime than impersonation. Yes. But you can't prove I'm a murderer. Take this man away. Detain him. Perhaps we should have dealt with the examiner earlier. I'll deal with him in time. And Quinn. Step back his hand. Somehow. <laughs> I am You're your... the last man I expected to see here. I'm speaking to you, Examiner. Oh, I'm sorry. If you'd listened to me in the first place, you wouldn't be locked up here now. Put your enemy out into it. Baker, I've known that all along. Did you know he was the leader of the rebels? It's quite a simple sort of lock, really. <laughs> Danger, could he do anything? The rebels are well organized. The governor's popular. If done your job properly, Examiner, you wouldn't be here now, and I'd have been out too. I'm not the real Examiner. Then Polly and I, we're... We're just travellers, that's all. I found the examiner dead. Reagan murdered him. You sent for me. Watch and report. I obey. It was piling together. Oh. Why didn't I realise? They are evil. Very. There are four. Now, what's he gonna see inside? So that's six. Oh, that's the thing.
thing inside. Look how many they got! Oh, blasphemy! You're screwed. We are the new race of dollars. Well, well. So I'll talk very fast because I don't want this battery to die. I've been filming since like early this morning. The camera is over it. Um, this is a really, really good episode. I have to say, this story is one of the strongest stories thus far, far of classic Who. This doctor is a gag to the limits of the squeezes of all the damn juices. What does that mean, Andres? I actually don't know. It just sounds really good if you say it fast on your tongue. Say that home! Um, I really liked, although it's animated and although it's kind of slower, the story is just so interesting with all these interesting characters that I could even follow it through the animation. Now, this is not with all animation, so I just want to make very clear. Um, but for this particular episode of Doctor Who, it is extremely interesting. It probably is because it, it, not only is the animation new Doctor and also a very strong supervillain as the Daleks, it just gives all of these different characters a, a moment to live thrive, polish the story, um, and just dives deep into it because you're watching, it seems to be like the new Daleks. I actually don't remember what happened in the Dalek story with J uh, William Hartnell. Um, on the last one, I really don't remember. Um, I know they were f chasing him down in different, like, galaxies or something like that, um, but I don't really remember the ending of that story. But this story, for some reason, this doctor is giving me the beginning of, and I, I'm obviously, I think I'm pretty sure I'm wrong in here, but this doctor kind of gives me, I don't know why, every time I hear him, like the doctor remembering Gallifrey and the war between the Daleks and Gallifrey. Although I believe that we're not even anywhere near that yet, where the doctor is from Gallifrey. I don't, we're not on that yet, I, I don't believe but it still feels like that because I know what happens in New Who and I know about a little bit about Gallifrey and the battles between the Doctor and the Daleks. The Daleks having this thing with the Doctor and wanting to kill him in numerous of times is why I feel like they know him from Gallifrey and they, they deem him to be a threat. Once again, I, I think I'm completely wrong in that, but it's good to know the history and then, or like the backstory of the story before, of the backstory before we became a story. Does that make any sense? Probably not. Um, but it's good to like know where we're going with their story. Um, Polly always, Polly, I love Polly, but is his name Steve or Steven? He, is he, are they dating? Like he is um, her protector in S.H.I.E.L.D. He is the sword, he is, he has, anytime Polly's in trouble, she could even like stumble, like when she's walking. He's like, Polly! Like, ah, I have to help Polly! Like he does the most. He got punched in the face, knocked out again, like just cause he needs to be near a Polly. He wants to make sure Polly is okay. Polly want a cracker? Like he really loves Polly or is infatuated. Whatever the case and scenario is, he loves her. This doctor, I have to say, and I'm not shading William Hartnell at all, although it's a different, I should, I, cons I should consider each doctor their own, but I'm doing a comparison, oops. This doctor, I like better than William Hartnell. William Hartnell was a, is legend. He's legendary to be the first. But this doctor so far, as I'm just doing my placement, my ranks, by far, I like, I, he's his, I think he's hysterical. And I still haven't seen him live yet. He's hysterical, he's funny, the way he does his lines, his hat, his approach, him being just kind of like out there, like I, I really like this doctor. So the story is good, the doctor is good, the big companions is good, the placement, the other characters, the supporting characters are good. Where could we go wrong, y'all? Where could we go wrong? Oh, that's right, I wish it was live. BBC Studios, you see what happens when you destroy and delete things? They probably don't care what I'm saying. They're probably like, can we copyright this uh, reaction? Anyways, please don't forget to comment down below about which one you want to see, Torchwood or Doctor Who. Feel free to elaborate 
on your comment um, because I will be looking at the comments to know about like where you guys want to go. For me, I'll talk about me. How can I? I'm gonna give myself a vote on my own channel. I would rather stick with Doctor Who classics. I love Doctor Who. I feel like I want to get more into this, into this show, the, the theory, the everything. Um, and I do know we're doing a Doctor Who special. I just really like Doctor Who. I not that I don't like tor that I don't like Torchwood. I do. I love Jack Harkness. But for me and my vote. I would continue on to this. I feel like for me to jump from this now just to solely be on Torchwood, and because I've seen the views and the likes and the interaction and engagement with the last episode, I feel like the vast majority of people are going to say Doctor Who classics and stay with Doctor Who, and then eventually we'll get back to Torchwood. It's like, that's how I feel like everybody's gonna say, and that's just how I personally feel. I'm more invested in Doctor Who than I am in Torchwood. I picked up Torchwood because people were saying, let's get into Torchwood, do Torchwood, do Torchwood. They even were trying to get me into um, doing the other, the other stories as well, which I said I possibly will do which I still have it on the board of things to do but I want to catch up to everything like this so that's my vote Doctor Who Classics that's my explanation on why but feel free to comment down below about that and as well as please help me out with the next story we have two more stories of this particular story and then I'll be looking on to see where we're going to go after here thank you guys so much for being here you know I love my Doctor Who fans and regardless on what direction we go on after this story I adore all of you. Thank you guys so much. Check out all my other reactions. And until next time, I'm off this.